Good morning, Florida-loving people. I'm Dylan Moran, that's Connor O'Day, and here are some Florida Man stories. Larry Darnell Adams, a 61-year-old Florida resident, was accused of spraying multiple female neighbors with bug spray. If that's not enough, the man then proceeded to threaten the women with a set of nunchucks after they refused to turn down the music in their car. This incident happened in Daytona Beach on August 12th of 2019. Adams, an ex-convict arrested multiple times in the previous five years, reportedly confronted the women outside of his apartment while they were parked and listening to loud music to celebrate the 18th birthday of one of the other victims. After attempting to resolve the conflict peacefully, Adams began to use aggressive language, saying things like, You ain't got no idea what an inconvenience you was causing me, you fat women. And you don't want none of this smoke, you heavy people. You will face the wrath of a thousand sons. After refusing to turn down the music, the women were shocked when Mr. Adams returned with a set of nunchucks that victims claimed he allegedly threatened them with and used to strike one of the women in the head. The police became involved after Adams and one of the other women called 911. Now that is what I call a kung fu failure. Now we'll turn it over to Jake, who is live with us in the hallways of Springford Area High School. Thanks, Connor. I'm here with... Taylin. And I have a quick question for you. What do you think of when you hear Florida? Uh, the beach. Solid answer. I'm with... Olivia. What do you think of when you hear Florida? Gatorade, because it's owned by the Florida Gators. Thank you. I'm here with... Anna. And what do you think of when you hear Florida? Um, I think of Disney World and when my family and I went in sixth grade. Okay, thank you. I'm here with... Keely. And what do you think of when you hear Florida? I think of missing people in hurricanes. I'm with... Dylan. And what do you think of when you hear Florida? Well, I heard a story one time where a Florida man pulled a knife out of an alligator's head. Thank you. I'm here with... Abby. What do you think of when you hear Florida? Um... Flo Rida and alligators. Thank you. I'm here with Nick Denena. What do you think of when you hear Florida? I think of the memes where it says Florida man does blah blah blah. That's exactly what I think of. Thanks, Nick. I'm here with Mrs. O'Day. What do you think of when you hear Florida? I want to go there now. Um, sunshine. It's it is a sunshine state, um, but there are alligators. I'm not a big big fan of those. Um, I do like uh, the beaches. Disney's always fun, down in Disney. And then uh, Miami, good, good places in Florida. Thank you very much. That's all from me, guys. Back to the studio with Dylan. Thanks, Jake. On February 4th, 2019, a man named Brian Keith Harrington, a 23-year-old from Pinellas Park, Florida, attacked his sister and then bit a cop after someone touched his cigar. Police arrived on scene to find that Brian, after finding out that his cigars were touched, went to the refrigerator and threw a bottle of ketchup at his brother-in-law. After missing with the ketchup bottle, he then threw a half a gallon of juice and other containers at his sister that was six months pregnant. Throwing things at his relatives did not satisfy him enough, so he tr decided to try and hit the refrigerator on the two of them. Unfortunately, the police stopped him before doing so, but with the cost of an officer being bit in the thumb. Harrington was charged with three counts of domestic battery, battery on a law enforcement officer, and resisting arrest. He remains in jail with a bail set at $10,150. Well, folks, that'll do it for today's episode of Florida Man Stories. As always, tune in next week for more pointless information that I'm now realizing is probably the wrong word choice. And remember, if it's not a Florida Man story, then there were probably a severe amount of drugs involved. Signing off, this is Connor O'Day with Dylan Moran. We'll see you next time.